Hello, everybody. Good evening, and welcome to a rocking and rolling La Fonteta here in Valencia, Spain. It's the FIBA Women's Eurobasket quarterfinals, and it's the game between Serbia and Spain. Well, we've already watched one quarterfinal here in Valencia today. It was Belarus winning uh, impressively over Sweden for the second time in the tournament. They have advanced to the semifinal uh, to take on France, who uh, pulled away from Bosnia and Herzegovina in Strasbourg. And uh, now it's all about Spain and Serbia there at the bottom. The winner will take on the winner of Belgium and Russia, another game that is being played in Strasbourg. Here is the road to the final. You can see uh, where we are and uh, bottom left quadrant there, Spain and Russia. You gotta be quick. And uh, the Serbia fans come here believing uh, maybe this is their year. Of course, they're playing here. And both of these teams also will be at the Olympics in Tokyo. I'm Jeff Taylor, joined by Zania Stewart. And Zania, we've seen some good games here at this FIBA Women's Ladies Eurobasket, and uh, including one with this Serbia team uh, when they played Italy. But this one has Let's all the hallmarks of a Serbia. classic. For sure, the head coach Jeff, of this is the is big Ms. game Marina I've been waiting Mankovic. for. I didn't expect these two and teams to meet so early, you know, but Sonia this is the excitement Hossi. of the women's Eurobasket. This is why Number incredible six things six can happen. Uh, Serbia Adio. to me is, you know, they're undefeated, they're battle, battle tested Jovanovic. really early versus Italy. Number like you said, they were down uh, most of that game and came back. Number and, uh, you know, they've got a scoring machine team over there that coach uh, Malkovic can really pick from even Last game Number we saw 12, Tina uh, Krajnik versus Montenegro go Number off for 20 points and nine Anna rebounds. So Dabovic. all those starters Number were in double digits. So that was fantastic. Spoli. But Spain to Number me, you know, they found Masha their rhythm, they found Yankovic. their flow, and they're Number not looking back. You know, they, they lost Dabovic. early in the tournament, but wow, Number have they come to play. And Tina they beat uh, Montenegro 78-51. And uh, yeah, they're a true class act in that um, in that last the game, Jeff. The Spain, performance the that Spain put Spania. on was beautiful. It was fantastic. Women's basketball is what we want. It's where the game is going, and it was unbelievable. Uvina and uh, Maria Conde are truly rising out of this team and uh, to join Dor, the uh, last uh, Eurobasket MVP. So I'm excited for this game, Jeff. And I had a coffee, so I'm even more excited. So you better get up for this one. Well, I am definitely excited. I'm with you. You know, I mean, I remember how physical, how how tough that game was two years ago. And just so many fascinating storylines in this big win this year basket. No Alba Torrens, of course. I know Tamara Balde, but we've had to watch Spain kind of deal with the adversity. It looks like they've, uh, they've coped well, but this is without a question. The biggest test for Lucas Mondello, uh, Serbia. You know, you're talking about two teams probably that have what it and takes now, to win the title. They meet in the quarterfinals. For the We're going to have a pause for the national Serbia. anthems of both countries. Para el himno nacional de Serbia. standing for the national anthem of Spain, El Himno Nacional de España.
side with the referees for tonight's game. Martin Hodorzov from Bulgaria on the left, Amy Bonner in the middle, and Wojciech Liska on the right. From uh, well, Martin's from Bulgaria, Wojciech from Poland, and Amy Bonner is from the USA. And we'll get a look at uh, the starting fives for both teams. Hey, you know what? Both coaching staffs could be a, a starting lineup. They've got nine staff on each set. Each team, then they yeah, travel they, with a lot of. I think they need a few more coaches. Yeah. Well, I think they've got also physios and that, but yeah, you're right. And you know what? These are successful teams, and you just got to do what you got to do. Yep. For Spain. Will be their lineup. I'm saying Dor. Well, you're right. Dor is in there. How about Maria Conde in the starting five tonight? Laia Palau, the legend, Laia legend, Cristina Uvina, uh, Laura Hill who has been utterly sensational. Sylvia Dominguez coming off the bench, Cazorla, Carrera, you name it. They got so many good players in this main team, but you're looking at the player Dura here uh, and look at her contributions. Um, and when Spain win, when she plays so well, yeah. uh, and you're talking about the MVP from two for years sure. ago for Lucas Mondello, who since uh, his decade of being in charge of this national team, unrivaled the success he's been sensational and no doubt serbia will be ready for door in my opinion such a class act is long lean can put the ball on the floor can shoot the three uh, very effective under the rim so serbia better be ready for her because she's unstoppable as we'll start to see serbia's starting lineup which includes Sonia Vasic, Yelena Brooks, Alexandra Servandakic, Anna Dabovic, and Tina Krasnik. But you've got some great players coming from the bench. Chajo, Jovan, Jovanovic, Butelia, Anderson, Skorich, Dugulic. Yeah, uh, that starting five all had double-digit uh, scoring last game as well. Yankovic, there's Sonia Vasic. She's, uh, she's a legend, and really, you know what? Playing uh, very well. She has. Formerly Sonia Petrovic uh, has been one of the best players in Europe for for many years, really. And Marina Malkovich clearly knows what makes this women's program tick. Because when she's in charge, they get it done. They've uh, they've won medals. They won the title in 2015. They got the bronze medal at the Olympics in 2016. Uh, they know how to win. They know how to win, and, mm -hmm. and, and don't forget also 2019. Uh, they also finished third. Spain ranked first in the FIBA Women's Eurobasket with uh, 23 uh, assists per game, so they share the basketball. Can't accuse them of being selfish, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, and they are the defending champions as well. And uh, Serbia have won three of their four quarterfinals in the FIBA Women's Eurobasket. And as you alluded to it, I think. Uh, this uh, sort of matchup is the type of thing you'd expect to see in a final, to be honest, the way uh, this, the traditions of these countries, especially when you consider how good Serbia have been in recent years. They have been terrific. Both teams, again, both countries will be at the Olympics in Tokyo, so this is uh, in, many, in many ways a warm-up for that, but at the same time, uh, you can't help but think that maybe a little bit more pressure with Spain uh, as uh, the co-host, of course, they'll be hosting the, the semifinals and the final. Uh, but France have also been one of the, the hosts. And uh, but perhaps you know, with some people people that aren't with this team, you know, the retirement of Marta Jargai, with Alba Torrens not able to play, uh, with Anna Cruz uh, having retired as well, with uh, Laura Nichols. Maybe that eases some of the pressure on Spain. These other players want to get out and show what they can do. Well, good evening, folks, and a welcome to La Fonteta here in Valencia, Spain. It is a quite incredible quarterfinal feast for us tonight between Serbia and Spain. Spain in the dark uniforms and Serbia wearing the wearing the white. They start off uh, winning the tip and attacking the basket to the right. The ball knocked out of bounds. Serbia have 11 seconds on the shot clock. Conde guarding Vasic who turns and the ball goes down and comes out. Dur comes up with the basketball and over to Cristina Uvinha. Who seems to get better and better. Of course, Laia Palau, the all-time uh, record for games played. 
Monday misses. She made all of those in the warm-up. She sure did. And the last game, she was tough. Here we see Dabovich to the rim, misses. Dewar just keeps getting better and better as well in this tournament. Spain lost that opener to Belarus, but they have been a different team ever since. Uvinia from the right gets it to go, the three-pointer. Okay, and here's Spain doing a full court press. Usually it's Serbia putting the press on other teams, but Spain giving them a taste of their own medicine. Here's Dabovic. Shot clock winding down. And Brooks. That's okay. That's the exact offense that they want. Brooks is shot. These players know each other very well on both teams. Here is Conde, the rising star, one of the rising stars of Spanish basketball. She misses on the drive, but the ball will stay in this end. When they played a couple years ago, as you look at Uvinia's opening three-pointer, uh, Spain won that game 71-66, and it was one of the best and most physical se semifinals ever. Here's Dewar. The transformation, though, of Spain in this tournament has been something to behold. Unrecognizable in their last few games compared to how they played against Belarus in the opener. Vasic gets it down and knocks it down for Serbia. Okay, that's good for Serbia. Get Vasic going. She is uh, solid for them. And their go-to player. And also get them off the donut. Zero. Uvina here. Dur gets the baseline. Krasnik. I don't know if she was expecting some help. Krasnik, you know, a player that wasn't in the Serbia team. A couple years ago, here she is tonight. And uh, she is facing one of the best players in the world in Dur. Here is Brooks missing yet again. Yeah, I don't like that offense for Serbia as a good oh. defense by Krasnik on the fast break. Sorry, Jeff, I don't like that offense for Brook. No movement, one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, share the ball. You can get that whenever you want. Dewar gets the head up, uh, the leg up rather. There's Malkovic, the daughter of Bozidor Malkovic, one of the great coaches from Serbia, from Yugoslavia. Pass to Serba Dakic, and she is fouled by Palau. Smart play there, find the mismatch. <laughs> what a career Laya Palau has had. Serba Dakic has been uh, one, of the, one of the top players in Europe the last couple years as well. Always here at the EuroLeague Women Final Four. Here she is spinning, turning, putting it up and in. <laughs> Yeah, she's got better and better to me, Jeff. Really putting time and effort into a game as they throw a little running trap, I guess. Yeah. Gets down low. They continue to pass. Palau. Well, she got to a good position, but didn't have to finish. Palau really uh, getting up on Dabovic. That's what makes her so popular with the Spanish fans, how she plays that defense. Vasic over to Brooks, passes up the three, drives, puts it up, banks it in. Wow, tough shot there. Nice finish on uh, Dor. Wow, Jeff. Woo. Virginia, again. There she is, folks, stepping up, filling that role. They desperately need her as they transition into what is sort of a new phase of the Spanish women's team uh, with no Marta Zarga and Ana Cruz. And Dabovic 
misses. She was the FIBA Women's Eurobasket MVP six years ago in Hungary. Dabovic. So Palau comes out as you look at the replay. And uh, Dabovic also goes out. Ivanovic comes in as well as Ivan Anderson, their naturalized player. Yeah, Dokic also takes a seat. Ivanovic for me has been playing some solid great minutes off the bench. He's really an energy spark for as Anderson puts the three up. And Vina with the rebound. Spain lead it by one. Conde over. Here she goes. Cathorla. Oh boy, the ball doesn't go down, but Hill with the rebound. Lavinia, everything she's put up has been going in. Here it is, the pass the door. And great defense by Krasnik. Ivanovic at the right place, and there's Krasnik. Good job. Great defense, defense down here, and then she ran the floor and got rewarded. Dorla drifts in, puts it up, and gets it to go. She's really starting to step up, too, isn't she? Yeah, nice little drive down the guts there. The crowd is definitely in it. 3,000 people here tonight. No doubt that is the number. Also, the Valencia band is here. Oh, I love the band, Jeff. Dorla, she can shoot it. Leading it by one point. Von Anderson, Cathorla, good D from Cathorla. Anderson misses another shot. Basic. She played for Girona in Spain. She's uh, fully aware. Here she goes again. Basic fully aware of, knows everything about there is about Spanish basketball, about this arena, about the Spain women's national team. There are no secrets. Dewar again. Gets it to go this time. Tough. And when you have such a good shooter like Gord, and you know the post helps off too much, she only needs a few seconds and she's letting that thing go. Pass out to Anderson. Now Brooks again. Shot clock winding down. She pulls up on the baseline. Rattles out. Good flow to the game, going back and forth. Yeah, really nice flow, actually. And everything we wanted in this type of game. Javedo and Dominguez will come in for Spain with the next dead ball. And good defense. The hands were up by Krasnik. Ivanovic pulls up, gets it to Krasnik again, and puts up a tough shot. She's tripped, it appeared, by Hill. Krasnik, for me, Jeff, is playing very solid on both ends. She's playing tough defense down here on Dord. We know that's a lot of work. Uh, and then she's running the floor here as we see Dord's nice rotation on that three. Splash, uh, but good on you know. I love a post play, I always support it as, like the fans are. They're here for a good game and a good time, and they're sure getting it. So, Dominguez in the game, Quevedo in the game as well. Dominguez, of course, in Salamanca with Avenida, Quevedo is at Estudiantes. From Madrid, she's from Madrid. Dominguez might as well be the queen of Salamanca. She's played there for so many years. She definitely has the key to the city, that's for sure. Passage goes out, and Chacho comes into the game. Of course, Dominguez also played for Katzenberg. Uh, won a EuroLeague. Yes, she has. Several years ago. Yep. But uh, Salamanca's been doing well in the EuroLeague as well. Cabedo gets it over to Cathorla, another Avenida player. 
Dora rolls to the basket and gets it back into Serbia. Uh, we're waiting. Here they go. Again, Serbia down three. Brooks hands it off to Krasnick. She can't quite control the pass. And offensive foul called on Raquel Carrera, having just checked into the game. Krasnick's uh, catching the breath. Carrera, you might remember this season, hit the game-winning free throws for this uh, Valencia team here. There she was stepping in and picking up the foul there. She hit the winning free throws in the final Euro Cup. With, of the Euro Cup women with uh, right at the end in the final couple of seconds. Von Anderson played for the opponents that night. Venezia. Here's Chacho. Her path to the basket sealed by Quevedo. Matchup with Cathorla guarding Anderson. Anderson drifts in, gets it to go. She keeps putting it up. You know what's so great about both of these teams, Jeff, is their depth on their bench. When they sub in, it doesn't drop off, right? And that's the difference between them at the top as Dominguez takes a nice little floater, Thor with the rebound and the foul. She falls. Uh, that's what I love about these two teams. They go deep into their bench. They play 10 to 11 players. You know what I mean? So they'll have the energy um, as we see Brooks come out for a few minutes, no Bias, doubt. Bias Gorich comes into the game. Yeah, there's not really much drop off. I mean, you know, you take a, a door out when she's at her peak. I mean, there is going to be a little drop off. You're talking about the premier player at the last. FIBA Women's Euro basket. That said. Uh, but you build, bring somebody else, like a Kaylin, for a few minutes, you know what I mean? Catch her breath. Yeah. The next player isn't going to be too bad. Okay, they might drop off a little bit scoring and height wise, but they can hold their own just to give uh, Dora enough minutes to rest. She's got six points. 13 to 11, Spain on top. Anderson goes baseline, puts it up and in. That's a couple for her. That's a tough drive there. And a wonderful finish by Anderson. She's fearless. Sure is. You have to be. Cathorla passes back out to Dominguez. It's online. It's a little long. Carrera rebounds it. And back outside to Dominguez. Ticking down. Again, Dominguez, look at that. The confidence that she has as she scores with the left hand. Serbia quickly scores. Are they aware of the time? It's, I think Anderson must be. She's looking for space. Jovanovic has to chuck it. She's not going to get a shot off. Great defense at the end by Spain. So. At the end of a uh, 10 thrilling minutes, Spain on top, 15 to 13 over Serbia. Well, this game starts off really thrilling as we see the uh, first quarter stats. Uh, 6 for 11, 55% for Serbia from the two, 4 from 8, 50% for Spain and both getting to the line as we see the best players of the first quarter. And Urbina has had a wonderful and fantastic start to this tournament as she carries on here at the beginning of the game. Look, the bench is up, they know it's going in, she's feeling good, and she knows Spain is gonna be leaning on her to win this game today, Jeff? Yeah, urbina has been terrific. Uh, you know, as a reminder, the winner of this game will take on the winner of the other quarterfinal and one of the semifinals. That, that game is between Belgium and Russia. And the loser of this game will still have a very important game to play. That'll be uh, a game 
uh, that they'll have to win to be able to go to the qualifiers for the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup next and year in Australia. And uh, Russia is leading right now 33 to 27 over, over Belgium. Belgium. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't want you to leave and watch that. No, no. We uh, want you to stay here. This is the game of the tournament, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, and if you've got the luxury to have two screens at once, do so. It's a good it's point. fantastic. But it's obviously, we're, we're best friends, Jeff, as we smile at Amy, referee. And make sure you get your women's Eurobasket app. Keep you up to date with all the scores, the videos, highlights. And we don't have a feature on that app yet, Jeff. So let me talk to somebody, uh, you know, in the social media. There was one on you, actually, wasn't there? Was there? A while ago. I think I wrote it. No, on the app, though. That's, okay. the, that's the website. Okay. Well, we'll, t we'll look into it. Second quarter action underway in La Fonteta. Here is Tibedo, short with the long rebound to Caporla. She goes right back to door. <laughs> They were picking right up where she left off in the last meeting uh, with Serbia. And 2-3 uh, zone here by Spain, changing it up a little bit. Anderson rattles out. Look at the battle for the board. Scorich, she gets it. Now Brooks. Five on the clock. Stepping back, Jovanovic. As Dominguez with the rebound. And she turns it over with that Serbian pressure already. That's what you have to look out for. Chacho, good, the three-pointer. Wow. We see Serbia turning up the defense, Jeff. We've seen Serbia trap and turn over other teams, but still the same. Spain couldn't handle it, and they get the turnover. Dominguez from the arc. And a push on Skoric. Yeah, that's tough. She was making sure she boxed out, so uh, a Spaniard wouldn't get the rebound there, but unfortunate, she gets the foul. It's just her first, so it's okay. So that was a two from Chajo, not a three. Quevedo goes out, and Leonor Rodriguez checks into the game. A little runner misses, able to get it back over to Cathorla, who's been on the money, but that time she misses. Jovanovic won the French League this season with basket lines. And back to Anderson. Oh, what a shaky make move by Anderson, but she didn't finish. Playing fast and faster. That's the only two speeds they know. Rodriguez goes down. Door salt hands. Doesn't go down for her either. A third chance for Spain. They dump it through Door again. And she's fouled. That's a perfect pass by Uvina right over the defense. So only Dor can catch that fantastic pass by Uvina. And uh, Dor earns herself a trip to the line. She knows she could have had that one, an and one, but great catch anyway. And Krajnic comes back in to uh, probably stop that from happening. Yeah, Krajnic, the center of attention. Spain center for Dura. Good minutes from the storage. He's involved in that turnover. They forced uh, Spain into. Vasic also going to come back in. I'm not sure how deep Serbia will go tonight to their bench. If we'll see Jankovic or Vukovic. I would imagine we'll see Vukovic at some point. Hill comes back in, Jovanovic goes out as Vasic returns. Yeah, they're probably only going to go eight, maybe nine deep as Spain trap here. And they just get the ball in. And a hold. Ooh, they get bailed out there, Jeff. Uh, Spain had them under 
tremendous pressure. Lucas Modelo talking uh, to the referee. Oh, really? Bonner had a very good view of that. What a test. These two players battled each other, the Euro Cup women. And here they are again. This time, Raquel Carrera bowls over. The serving player, oh no, is it on Cathorla? Is that the most? No, it's Cathorla, excuse me. And uh, bowls over Brooks, so that's two quick ones on Cathorla. No sub coming for us, so Mondello is going to trust that she doesn't pick up another one. She's been active, looking for her shot. She's fouled as she goes up. Ooh, that's and a third, no? So that's probably the three quickest fouls that Cathorna has picked up in her career. I mean, I think maybe in 10 seconds she picked it up. Yeah, she shakes her head. All that means is that Conde gets to come back in. Which is no drop off in my oh, opinion. Uh, Conde started. She was terrific in the qualification for the quarterfinal. <laughs> Obviously, as Dugalic looks on, this is a different test altogether for Spain. Anderson is not going to go as well. Anderson coming out on the Vina. Rodriguez over to Conde. Five uh, seconds on the clock. Conde tries to make a bounce pass, thinking Carrera was going to break for the basket. It goes off of Serbia, so they put 14 on the shot clock. Yeah, kick ball there, so the shot clock resets to 14. So she ends up putting it up. Serbia will be trying to deny their primary options. Yep, and you can see Serbia's done their scouting because every time uh, Spain's definitely scored on their out of bounds plays, that time, unfortunate. Oh, great defense from Carrera. She gets up ahead, and uh, Brooks just lets her go, perhaps wisely, not wanting to commit a foul. Does Spain go up by four? Two great defensive teams. Ah, uh, you've got to hit Vasic earlier than that. And she says, so Krasnick, no, what am I supposed to do with that? You need to, look, look at this. Oh, this is the steal, but um, Krasnick is missing Vasic way too late. As she's curling off that screen, that's when you need to hit her. She's waiting way too long. And they need to get the ball to Vasic way earlier. Rubinia, living dangerously, dribbling the ball in front of Anderson. Now she gets away. Now she's trapped. She's able to get rid of it, but the shot clock's about to expire. Hill puts it up. Wow. What a play by Laura Hill. Time out. Jeff, Serbia want to talk about it because uh, Spain's just getting a little momentum here as we see, see Hill. Shot clock winding down. She knows it. Smart. And gets a shot up. Here we go. I don't know why Mandela's appealing for a foul there. I mean, uh, Krasnick had her hands up. Great no call. Yep. Good play. Yeah, referees are all over it. This is a good crew as we listen in to the timeout.
Spain have led by as many as six points. Their current lead, that's their biggest lead. Uh, and Serbia fans, uh, well, they're not losing heart. They're used to these close games. I want Serbia to establish, uh, oh, as Mondello calls a quick sub. Uh, wait a second. What's yep. interesting is that Serbia do already have nine points off of the Spanish turnovers. But, really? Uh, whereas Spain have four. Yeah. Uh, well, that sub couldn't come in, I guess, because the game had technically started. So, referees once again on point. That's Quiro Casas. Another Valencia player trying to uh, get into the game. There's already two in there now, Carrera and Uvenia. Dabovic. Well, that's an air ball. I want them to get the ball into Vasic, Jeff. Next offense, please. Oh, excellent work by Dabovic. She had a hands up. Now Anderson. Tough drive. Might have been better advised to, to hold off. Up down low to Carrera. She's showing us something, isn't she? What a play by the young Raquel Carrera. Yeah, great body control by Carrera there. Going one way, get the defense going and come right back reverse layer. Sensational move. Jump shot, Vasage. Wow. Bill just plays much bigger than she looks, to be honest. Conde. Fine Carrera, she's the one that's really getting it done right now. Oh, Rodriguez open from the left. Dabovic brings it back out to Vasic. Vasic goes hard to the hole. What a play by Krasnik. Big rebound by Krajnik. Gives Serbia a second opportunity. Interesting as we look at Karevi here. Look at this. Krajnik and Anderson are going to go out. Yeah, Serbia. And uh, interesting that Serbia Dakic is back in with Skoric. Here's Skoric, doesn't mess around, puts it up. I'm surprised Servadakis hasn't been out there longer. I mean, she seems to be one of the indispensable ones in this Serbia team. Uvenia to Carrera. Couldn't quite control. Look how quickly they recycle it. They get it to Casas. And probably if you're Serbia, you're willing uh, to settle for that. Yeah. The right person shooting the ball there. And neither team shooting it well right now, as you can see those numbers. 29% for Serbia. Over 30 for Spain. 37 for Spain. Here is staying with it, and Brooks goes up and scores with the left hand. Yeah, and then foul on uh, Davovic, too aggressive there. Ooh! Davovic already out. I don't know if you saw that, but yeah. as she went past, the two kind of exchanged niggling elbows. Yeah. I saw that Uvina there, little chicken wing. Oh, we got it on camera. Oh, she yeah. said, boom. Oh. Yep. So Davovic made sure she made contact with Uvina, and Uvina, right when she felt the contact, stuck her left elbow into the side of Davovic. Yeah, good job, cameraman, catching that for you guys. Excellent work. In the truck, and the cameraman. Everyone's on it today, Jeff. Uvina. Quevedo goes up with the left hand. A little bit out of control, perhaps. But I think as long as uh, Mandelo's team is playing defense right now, that's what he's happy about. Servant Dockets can post up down low if they can get her the ball. But a foul was called. Contor. Only her first. Oh, 
Fabinho goes out, interestingly, and Amaya Palau comes back in. Also, Jeff, with that foul, that puts Spain over the limit, so these next two and a half minutes or so, uh, Serbia will get some three shots. Now, this is our fine wine team, isn't it, Serbia? Yeah. They get better with age. Yeah, your fine wine. And nobody fits that description better than Brooks. Probably Vasic, those two. And Brooks tonight has uh, started well. He's got five points. Yeah. Pulled off a little bit, but. That's all right. She'll get it at the line and she misses. But Brooks is uh, one of the mummies at this tournament, so shout out to her. Colorful crowd here in La Fontenta. Serving Dockage, a tough assignment. She has Dewar. Yeah. I think they just called the foul on Davovic. A push on Dewar wanting to bump her, and she ran past. So that is now 14 fouls on Serbia. Yeah, definitely tough and aggressive, isn't it, Jeff? Um, Two fouls on Davovic. on the ground, puts it up right at the end of the shot clock. And they travel. And Mondello says, well, but uh, either that or it was a shot clock violation, so. He's, uh, he's claiming uh, there's reaching and fouling. But no, for me, it's even. Yep. It's a good non-call. Referees are doing a great job controlling the game. I heard you talking to him saying, let him play, let him play. Yeah, I wanted to see a tough one, and they're doing a great job. There's Vasic. Serving Dakic. See if she can get more involved. Five on the clock, Jeff. Oh, boy. Turn Great over. defense by Tiedem. Now Palau. And, oh. Almost passed herself there. I mean, really, with this current version of Spain, you almost want to sag a little bit on Palau. And this one, Cassis. They can prove they can beat it. Quevedo, good box out by Severin Dockets, keeping a door away from yeah. the rebound. Yeah. Now quickly it goes, and Vasic unsuccessful, but Severin Dockets called for a push. Interesting. She said that is flopping. Let's have a look. Is she correct? Let's have a look. She might be. I think so. Yeah. But she got one. She got the referee. And uh, she's correct in just having a little chat because they are reasonable and we'll listen. Cuando trapea la arriba, que nada, le intenta buscar la espalda para que la vende, como la coges en carrera y bandeja. ¿De acuerdo? Están metiendo muchas manos, no les juegos en el centro, juegos jugadas que tengan que defender. Vale. La siguiente jugada. Vale. It's all the three point shooting percentages. They're not good at all. I mean, Serbia haven't hit. Uh, but Spain's numbers are usually going to be good closer to the basket because of an indoor, although she did also hit uh, one of the three pointers. Petorla was the other. Here they were making that early commitment to get the basketball down low to the door. Well, there's a daughter with 10 points and four rebounds. No doubt she will get her double-double tonight. Um, so yeah, a, a great game, five-point game, a minute and 15 seconds left before halftime. So Serbia is sticking right with Spain and not letting them get too far out. So 
So Casas, by virtue of uh, the foul that was called on Servan Dakic, has indeed gone to the line. Went in too early. Servan Dakic tried to box out. And, and so she gets another shot. Mandelo uh, telling Casas to calm down. She looks a bit excitable at the free throw line. It's probably one of her weaknesses, though, Casas. She's not really a good free throw shooter, so. She's, um, a, high, she's a high energy player. Yes, yeah, she is. Defense. She for um, sure had two coffees before this game. So did I, Jeff. And she missed both badly. Three. She had three yep. attempts at that. And you can see that Mandela is a little frustrated watching that episode. Oh, the fine down low, Brooks. Uh, or Dabovic, rather. Yep. <laughs> But there's Serbia again. They just got to get some defensive stops. Well, we'll see if Serbia try to exploit that matchup again with uh, Semenya starting Dabovic. Shot clock about to expire. Quevedo. And the foul called in Spain going for the rebound. Yeah, big rebound there by Vasic. You really underestimate how good she is around the uh, rim. And uh, that was on. So, Leonor Rodriguez comes back. Vasic goes to the line in Serbia. Wow. She missed? She missed. Vasic could hardly put a foot wrong in this tournament. Uh, but is it the intensity of this game? Yeah, she's uh, definitely huffing and puffing down on this defensive end. But she makes the second, so we'll take one. And the full court press for Serbia here. Ooh. And great defense from yep. Serbia. They That's going to be their ball. Yep, yep, I'm, I'm, a I'm with the referee here off uh, Rodriguez's hand. Mondello won't be happy about it, but Serbia's doing what Serbia does best, speeds up the offense and gets another shot. Serbia playing uh, composed basketball. They trailed. Here's Skoric. Dabovic. That would have put him in front. Gives it up to Rodriguez. Remember, France already in the semifinals awaiting Belarus. Here is Door. Tough down low. And wow. that's it right at the end of the first half. Look at this, Jeff. Serbia had a chance Ooh. to take the lead. They did not. Ooh, just a little bit of a collision between teammates. Yeah, but also Door wrapped Brooks. Spain lead at 27, 23 at halftime over Serbia. Well, as the players walk off the court, you can see they are tired. Yeah. What about these numbers? Look at those shooting numbers from three-point range. Yeah, both teams shooting very low, but both getting to the free throw line and then nine from 20 from Serbia. The rebounding game, uh, Spain is winning 25 to 17. Steals seven over four for Serbia. Anderson was six, Dor, no doubt, with 12 points. So tough down low. Uh, they are bumping her. Um, but a, a sensational game here in the first as we get to see the best plays of the first half. I think we're going to see more Serbia full court pressure at some point in this game. I think so, and they've been successful. What they've got, I think they've put on the press th two or three times and they've called the turnover every yeah. single time. Yeah, it's like a surprise. Um, yeah, I think both teams can play better. You know, Spain, you feel like they, they're going to have to shoot better and, and we saw so much promise from the likes of Conde and Quevedo in the last game uh, but we haven't seen it tonight but you know Serbia is so tough and gritty and strong and they put their heads down and you know they're matching Spain's intensity quickness um, 
You know, I think the only thing Mondello's shaking his head here, he's not really happy to the crowd. I'm not really too sure why, because I feel like it's been a pretty even Stevens across the... He might be shaking his head about Cassis' uh, free throws. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, maybe. No, I think he's probably... Doesn't oh. like the contact, but yeah, I don't know. From our perspective, it looks pretty good. Yeah, well, this is exactly what we want. This is a high-level game, you know what I mean? So a lot on the stake for both of these teams. They're trying to get to the semi-final. Um, so the lights go out, so it must be half-time show for sure. And I'm excited for the second half. It's exactly what we wanted. And I'm ready for some more action. And, of course, Belgium on top. Uh, of their game at halftime over Russia now. So the winner of this game will play the winner of Belgium-Russia, uh, and that will be a, a semi-final. Of course, the losers, all the losers of the quarterfinals will still have another game to play to try to get to the FIBA Women's World Cup qualifiers that'll be held in February. So, again, if you uh, enjoy these highlights, Carrera played very well. Raquel Carrera. There's Carrera again. Coming up with a steal and a fast break. So, uh, we're going to enjoy the halftime show, and we'll let you enjoy some top plays from the FIBA Women's Eurobasket. Joanna's falls, somehow gets the ball to Groove. Whoa! Oh. Great pass off the floor. Assist for Sunday Gruda. This land for a long time. We know how far we've gone and we're sure of how far we can go. Unity is not just a word here. It's not just a spirit in this sport. It's the way we all move. We are proud of our art, country, family, language and culture. We are united by basketball. Welcome to FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup 2022.
27-23, Spain on top of Serbia at halftime here in the quarterfinals of the FIBA Women's Tour Basket. Players uh, coming back out onto the court here for their warm-ups. Of course, the winner of this game will face the winner of Belgium, Russia, in uh, a semifinal. The other semifinal will be between France and a surprising Belarus, who you'll remember won their opening game 
of this FIBA Women's Eurobasket right at the death against Spain in somewhat of an upset. So uh, are these teams, you know, we were talking about this, Zania. Serbia have just looked so dominant uh, for most of this FIBA Women's Eurobasket tonight. Whether it's the Spanish defense or Serbia maybe just a little tired. I mean, what you know, what's going on here? Yeah, I mean, you know, it is very, very difficult to run around and guard Spain, and I feel like they're doing a very good job, you know, keeping them to one shot and then getting the rebound. So that's been very good for them. Um, but, you know, half time and they're right in the game. They're not too far out. It's 23 to 27. Uh, so they definitely would have spoken about a few things. Uh, they can do a bit better. Uh, ready for the second half, but this is a great game. It's going to come down to the wire, I think. And Serbia is battle tested, in my opinion, when it comes down to the, uh, you know, to the wire. And uh, we'll see the coaches here at halftime speech. Coach, you're down four at halftime. What do you want to see from your players in the second half? I want to see us playing faster. I want to see us playing more aggressive in defense. I want to see us play faster. We're, we're, we're too slow. We have 20 more minutes to play. We just got to be more aggressive and on defense and on offense, both Thank sides of the court. And we've got a rebound, obviously. Thank you. Good Thank night. you. You have the ball, as I said. I don't Well, very interesting. Marina Malkovic uh, looking for faster. Faster. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I can see that. She said that before, and it was the Italy game, and they came out and responded. Uh, so yeah. it could be that we're going to see the same thing unfold here. Let's listen to Coach Mandelo. Pero no estamos siendo suficientemente verticales ni abriendo espacios para líneas de tiro. Y luego al principio hemos tirado, no han entrado y ya estábamos en el proceso de Bielorrusia, renunciando a tiros y, y sin confianza. Que sí, que hay confianza. Vamos con otra ronda. Well, hey, el partido está en mantener la defensa. Si no van a meter 23, les ganamos. Por lo tanto, la defensa. There's one thing that Serbia can do. They can Mira, certainly si pit your confidence. Si vamos a defender mejor. Un, dos, they sure can, and you'll probably see them full court trap, but I don't know, they're not going too deep into their bench, Jeff, so I don't know how much uh, fuel they have in the tank to do that. Um, I would like them to see uh, established Vashish early in their offense. We haven't seen Butalia yet. No, I don't think you will, to be honest. I don't know, I think we will. You think? Yeah, especially defensively, she comes out and makes a difference. Jovanovic, in fact, is going to start. Oh, yeah, I like Jovanovic. Well, she's right here in front of us, we'll be introduced to her. Oh, I know her very well, actually. <laughs> One of my friends. Along with you, Jeff. Second half action underway here in Valencia between Serbia and Spain. And Serbia attacking immediately with Yvonne Anderson. Passionate call for a foul going for the rebound. Anderson uh, appealing to the referees for a foul. Get the feeling that it's just basketball, isn't it? Coaches, players are going to be always thinking that everybody's against them. Right. And there's no harm in having a little chat with the referees. Uh, they're a good crew. We'll listen. Here we go. Conte gets the start. And they force the ball out of Tour's hands. Luvinia has to put up a prayer. She gets it back. Wow, that was a stroke of good fortune, although you have to praise Luvinia for keeping her concentration to make that catch. Wow. That was unbelievable. She just threw it up and came right back to her. She really does seem to be taking her game to new heights at this FIBA Women's Eurobasket. Yelena Brooks gets in. Another miss from Serbia. And uh, are they going to be are they going to be able to play faster? Spain sure is. Wow. Gets in. Finished for some reason in this uh, Eurobasket. Hasn't been there for Laya. Legend. Ooh. And this time 
She reaches in and commits the foul for the block. Is that a play at? Is that a play Was at she the, playing ball? the ball? I, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Watch. Look at Avinia here. So she throws up. She must think. The shot clock was about to expire. Otherwise, why would you shoot it? It was, like it that? was. Unless she knew she was going to catch it. And uh, Raquel Carrera uh, being rewarded for her excellent first half by getting the start here in the second. So Lucas Mandelo, very much a, you know, coaching by feel type of coach. And she has great size, doesn't she? Carrera, when you see her guarding Brooks and now reaching in and coming up. What, what she was hoping was a, a steal, but she kind of nods in agreement to the referee that she did indeed commit a foul. Yeah, she does. High fives at hand. Savage picks up. Here we go. Passionate down low. Little contact, and she's going to the line for an M1. Yeah, it's tough. She had to put the ball on the floor there. They had no other options. Spain is playing solid defense here, just a bit better offense by Krasnik. And she just gets that nice, soft touch. I mean, to be fair to Carrera, she's not doing too much wrong there. It's just contacting. You just have to tip your hat to Krasnik for, first of all, initiating and uh, maintaining the concentration through the contact, but she misses the free throw. Tunde over the floor, now she passes back outside, Uvina. And now the scrap for the rebound. Who are they calling this on? Krasnik. She gets up slow. She's been getting up slow, slowly. And all the Turin's looking on, wishing that she could be out there, no doubt. But the uh, COVID, which has prevented, uh, obviously, everybody's familiar with it. Limits only up to 3,000 fans here, which we have tonight. There's Alba Torrens again, one of the all-time greats. Also, Elisa Aguilar behind her on the right there. Another of the all-time greats. Both of them FIBA Women's Eurobasket champions back in 2013. FYI. Of course, 2017 was Torrens in 2019. And the Final Four MVP, and uh, you name it, Alba Torrens has done it. Uh, Krasnick's third foul, Jeff, so, so she sits down. Storage returns to the court. Ravinia puts it up, and there's a good rebound by Vasic, who may have done a good job of uh, Rolling tonight. Basic. Just three points for Sonia Basic. Boy, what a tough drive that was by Jovanovic. Now the pass up ahead. And Kunde does not complete the catch. Well, Serbia wanted to play fast, but look at this. Out the gates, unfortunately, she just can't get a hold of that, but wow. That's a full court sprint by Conde. It's a fly pattern. Go deep. Fly pull out comes out. Yovanovich again. That's two in a row for Nevena Yovanovich. The game is tied. And they're doing exactly what their coach wanted. They're getting out and running and speeding the game up. Back to Doerr, and now Doerr fumbles it away, and they call the foul on score on Vasic, no, on Doerr. So it's going to be Serbia basketball. Watch this. She loses control and then commits the foul by kind of, as she's falling, kind of falls into Vasic. So Doerr goes out, and, oh well, no, it's a timeout. So quite clearly the momentum swinging to Serbia. Well, 
¿Por qué no vamos hasta la cocina? Hasta un bloqueo? Estamos esperando el bloqueo. Encontremos el bloqueo por el camino. Tío, tío, lo seguimos aquí, ¿no? Bueno, pero tenemos que hacerlo. Well, Serbia have trailed, but they've come out strong here in the second half. And they have tied it with uh, Yelena Brooks, formerly uh, Yelena Milovanovic, with Yvonne Anderson coming out, showing a, a fearless approach, as always. Of course, some of these are first half highlights. Chajo hitting that long two. It's a proud country, a proud basketball nation, and a very proud women's national team program looking to get one of what would go down as one of their all-time great victories tonight on the road at hosts Spain in the FIBA Women's Eurobasket, the quarterfinals. Here's Yvonne Anderson, gets inside, gets blocked by Dewar. Great hustle, though, by Skorich uh, to come up with a basketball. Anderson again, she goes right back. And this time, flying in, getting the rebound is Conde. And Skorich is called for the rebound. Anderson uh, did this a lot in this tournament, but you can see that she gets rejected by Dewar. Yeah, but she wanted that foul, just kind of swiped her head there, as you can yeah, see. She might have gotten her on the head, you're right. Again, remains in the game in these big moments here early on. Sylvia Dominguez back in as well. Conde lets it fly. There she is. The count. She says vamos. She knows that's big for her team. Oh, what a spin move by Brooks, but I don't know that she could have accelerated enough to get ahead of the block by Dewar. Huge shot by Conde. Great drive by Vasic. Yeah, Conde's got her hands full with Vasic down there. She's a walking bucket, Jeff. She demanded that ball go to her that time. Conde has it knocked away. She has to get it to Dominguez. Now shot clock winding down. Conde again steps back for three. Oof. Big rebound by Dor. Tremendous rebound. Might have been uh, better advised not to attempt the shot. And a kicked ball means Serbia have possession. Look at this, 32-31. Four and a half minutes into the second half. I mean, this is a tight defensive struggle. Game. Yeah, it is, because low scoring and both teams playing solid, hard defense. It is a struggle to get anything right now in the basket. I say go back into Vasic to me, Jeff. Can't guard her. Let her put it on the deck. She's guarded by the young Carrera. Jump she shot. Again, baseline. Gets it go! I told you. World class, Sonia Vasic. She has to hustle back to play defense on Conde. Serbia have taken the lead. Dominguez, not there. Yvonne Anderson has it. Spain hustle back to play defense, but Anderson's going to sprint ahead. And again, oh, what a rebound by Brooks. And decides to take it back out. Tough. Anderson can't get one to drop, and she ain't getting a foul, so. Jovanovic. Conde. Conforla. She goes all the way. Tennis wasn't there. She just kind of flung it up off the backboard. Anderson again. Look at that. The shifty move. Yvonne Anderson has stretched the lead. 35-32. Lost the words, Jeff. I'm a little bit stressed over here. I'm not going to lie. Good for Anderson to finally see one go through the net. Defense from 
Serbia trying to clamp down. Shot clock again becomes an issue. Carrera. Good box out. He's doing a really good job boxing out uh, Dor. Well, it was Spain that ruined the party for Serbia two years ago in 2019. Will Serbia return the favor in 2021? Basic, shifty move. Boy, that was a strong rebound by George. She's got full extension. All you see are those two long arms and hands come up, come down with the ball. Oh, Dominguez, she might have had the layup. Passes it back to Conde. Boy, what a tough finish with the left hand. Be afraid in big games like this, and Conde now with five points. Jovanovic left wide open. Good. Boy, that was a mistake. Jovanovic is good enough to start for this team, that's for sure. She usually comes off the bench, but started in the second half. She is definitely energy for Serbia. And Buzalia getting off the bench to make her first appearance. Dominguez. Quick pass. A oh, wonderful play, Carrera. Great determination by Dominguez, the floor general. And you can only be impressed with Raquel Carrera tonight. Yeah, and Brooks starts for a sub here on this foul. She comes across. Um, you were right, Jeff. How I, why, why did I doubt you? Well, she usually comes in in the second half. Oh, does she? Here's Conde. I mean, uh, uh, oh, and we're going to see our first look at Dugovic as well. The impressive youngster, teenager. Yeah, um, they just need a breather. Vasic and Brooks are playing big, tough, hard minutes. And Brooks there had, uh, had to guard the big task of uh, Dor. Brooks was guarding her. Little zone here for Spain. And you're back in the game. Fascinating encounter. Big answer by the young Carrera, who's saved her best game for really the most important time for Spain. Oh, they find the score is down low. Good offense there for Serbia, solid. They were patient and found what they wanted. You know, score is also an important addition to this team. The Serbian team is stronger than two years ago. Here's Ivanovic. Fight through that screen. Oh, we haven't seen Kill in a while, but she uh, gives Dor a uh, little rest for a minute 55. She's definitely tired. A perfect style of game for Laura Hill, really. The I'll make the second, but look at Hill. She gets the rebound. That's what she's in for, that's for sure. Oh, what anticipation from Jovanovic. She saves it in bounds to Butalia. Butalia, though, goes up and rushes up the shot. I would say that wasn't a good shot from Butalia, but she puts the pressure on Spain's defense. Bouvinia, Spain down two. Looking for space. Gets it back over to Carrera. She gets it to Dominguez. And bumped off the three-point. Pushed off the three-point line, rather, but gets uh, bumped in the lane. Yeah, this is news. I'm really happy with that, but that's only her second foul, so she's okay. But the team is now, as we see that lovely spinning splash from Jovanovic's three-pointer. Uh, Anderson is really happy, but now as Dominguez misses. Uh, the team is over the line. You see that red lit up underneath Serbia, so every time they foul, Spain will go to the line. 
Oh boy. This is both, Jeff. That is Two very big misses for Spain at yeah, the line. Very rare. And they're having a tough time at the line tonight. Just five of ten. But by the same token, Serbia just five of nine. Dugalic. Pass over to Ivanovic. Scorich. Ivanovic from the arc. Another one. Stand up and be counted. Whee! Okay, Jovanovic, she came to play in death. Ten points for Jovanovic. Now Cathorla, though, gets it right back. Right back at you. Huge shot. Oh, this is exciting, Jeff. Final minute of the third quarter. Surely you got to give Jovanovic another touch. She's as hot as a firecracker. And Yvonne Anderson gets her own rebound off her own miss. Scored it for three, that's way off. That could have been a foul, to be honest. And now a, a foul call, Spain appealing for an unsportsmanlike. And Avina earns a trip to the line. Yeah, I think uh, referees just missed that, Jeff. Here, this three-point shot, she was ran off the line and didn't have space to land. But either way, uh, with that foul, Spain get to walk down and trot down the other end and take two shots at the line, Uvina. Zemakovic taking your point. She thought a foul should have been called on the three-point attempt. I would have to agree. Vigna takes some time. Serbia, though, will get another attempt here. Another crack. They've got eight seconds on the shot clock. On the game clock, rather, in the third quarter. Yes, yeah, Spain will press for sure, yeah. Well, Anderson sees she can penetrate and dish. She might try to go all the way. She passes it back to Jovanovic. Well, what defense? They don't even get a shot off. Tremendous defense at the end for Spain. They tie it with two free throws from Uvina, who continues to be solid for Spain. At the end of the third quarter, it's 43-43, Serbia and Spain. Here's the end of the third quarter. Stats, two from 12 for Serbia, shooting 17% from the three, if they can just get a few of those going. And uh, 12 from 26 from Spain, 46%. As we'll see the best plays of the third quarter. This was thrilling. This will be both teams, you know, as Uvina there threw a prayer up and got it back. It was so smart. Um, but yeah, no doubt this is going to go down to the line here as it's a tied game, Jeff. 43-43. Jeff, and uh, hey. Is that a yawn I see there? I'm gonna no, slap I, you. I was amazed. I was looking over there. Okay. I'm sleeping on the job here. I had a coffee. You better match my energy, Jeff. Oh, I would never fall asleep in a game like this. 43-43. Again, it's a rematch of past clashes. Don't forget, these two teams met in the semifinals in 2019, and it was won by Spain. Serbia looking to return the favor tonight in the quarterfinals. Yeah, I think, yet again, I think they established Vasic. They got to rest Vasic and Brooks that last two minutes. And uh, Serbia was solid with, uh, without them on the floor. And then also just a few, you know, it's been tough for Anderson. She's getting good looks at the, at the rim with her layups and just can't finish. Uh, so she can just lock in and concentrate and get a few of those. So Sonja Vasic has uh, always been an important player for Serbia in these tournaments, and uh, so it is proving again tonight, coming out and making some big plays uh, in this third quarter. Hey, just a quick one, Jeff. Yeah, 81 to Belgium, 79 to Russia. Great yeah. game also. Yeah, going down to the wire. I love it. Just like this one will, no doubt. Uvina with the ball. Fourth quarter action underway here in La Fonteta. 
Hill. She thought about it. Bounce pass. Uvina. Great patience. I thought Hill was perhaps a little too patient. But she knew exactly what she was doing. Uvina. 11 points. Now, just one behind uh, the team high of 12 by Indoor. And uh, Quirrell Casas, uh, having faith shown in her by her coach, comes out and makes a good play defensively. She's solid. And a couple of rebounds. Yeah, she's solid. She was their top scorer last game, Jeff. She had 20 points and nine rebounds, so she definitely was big for them. The, the interesting thing is, yes, player, maybe the shots aren't falling or not getting many looks, but you know what? You always have to play good defense. Sure do. And I think it's safe to say that five steals in uh, 16 and a half minutes is pretty impressive. Oh, 100%. I wonder how long Thor will stay on the bench for. I'll be back for another couple minutes, I would say. Here is Avinia. Passes back outside. Casa. Oh, she hits it. She proved me wrong. I would have said that's the player that Serbia wants to shoot the jumper. And that is called repaying the face. Von Anderson. And when will uh, Malkovich go back to Davidovich? Here is Dominguez. Good! So Casas and now Dominguez. And look, it's contagious. The confidence spreading. Spain back in front by five. Yeah. Dominguez knows how to get a tough bucket, but oh. so does Vasic. Wow. Wow, Jeff. I'm definitely going to have a Miguel Lacabeza, which is a headache after this if I keep this up. Chance of Espana ringing throughout La Fonteta. Raquel Carrera. Fage! Oh, my! So many contributors for the Spain team, including the young ones. Cathorla getting ready to come back in. Jovanovic gets in hard. Oh, boy, I heard some contact over here. I think it's on Carrera. You know, Zania, I, I am absolutely stunned as we see the three go after Dominguez. Sarah Dockets has not had any type of impact on this game. I mean, she is a top flight European player. Yeah. Uh, but she has been kind of lost in the mix tonight. Mm. Yeah, I would agree. But hey, other, other players are stepping up. This is what's so great about a solid, deep team uh, like Serbia, you know? This lady right here at the line has given them big, solid oh boy, minutes. She's, played, she's uh, been arguing with her MVP tonight. 12 points, 13 points now, I think. No, 12 points. 12 points. She also has five rebounds, assist, and a steal because Jovanovic on a team high efficiency of plus 17. Oh, look at the persistency, the persistent defense. Anderson gets it across midcourt. 
She attacks the basket, she spins, she takes it back out. Now Brooks, looking Carrera. Travel. Uh, Brooks travels. Yeah. She's got to drag her foot. Yeah, good call, good call. Say, I, I am absolutely stunned, just like the Serbia fan. I am stunned at the level that Carrera has played tonight. She has really Up to game. justified not necessarily her inclusion in the team, but she has shown she is a part of the Spain team to stay. And this is a building block for the future, no doubt. She's been terrific. So Serbia call timeout. Let's listen in. Well, Serbia have been riding the hot hand of Novena Jovanovic. And uh, without her, they wouldn't be good. But you know what? Today it's her turn. Tomorrow it'll be somebody else's turn. Uh, sometimes you just never know. Serbia Dokic today, nope. Jovanovic, yeah. And there she is. She plays with such high energy there, 12 points, two from four, 50% and five big solid rebounds for her. Sensational minutes off the bench and is uh, keeping the trust and leaving her the game in. And also checking in is Chacho. There's Alba Torrens watching, thinking about only what could have been. In the long run for Spain, it could be a blessing in disguise that Alba Torrens didn't play because other players have had to step up. Yeah. And step up they have. Like this one, Catorla. She drives in, hands it off to Kid. And turns and misses the shot. And Jovanovic, look at the hustle. Carrera. I'll tell you what, she's showing why she was a, a second round draft pick in the WNBA. I mean, she is taking her game to new heights. Look at this. Good defense, yep, and the ball just bounced right there on the baseline. Carrera goes out. Dewar comes back in. Brooks taking the breather. And Belgium have won at the buzzer over Russia. Well, they've held on because Russia had a chance in the last five seconds. It's a tight game with all the way down to the end. So Belgium advanced to the semifinals with an 85-83 win over Russia, and the winner of this game will play Belgium in the semifinals. Boy, it's uh, almost heartbreaking that we won't have both of these teams in the semifinals because they are two world-class teams. Uh, the basketball inbounded, stolen, confusion. Jovanovic threw it right away in the hands of Spain. Here's Catorla. And nobody bucks out Hill. They're standing there ball watching. Palau, the veteran, high legend with the bounce pass into the corner. Catorla, good! And that could be a turning point in the game. Big, big hit there in the corner. And the crowd is on their feet. It's exactly what they needed. Early, they got to get into the process again. Here she is. She just gets inside. Whoa, what a tough move. So, she was looking to make the pass, but took the reverse layup instead. Yeah, so intelligent and so patient in her offense. Nobody rushes her, Jack. She goes at her speed. Casas. Cathorla drives in. Von Anderson now with Serbia again. See if they can find Vasic. Anderson. Well, a little out of control. You got your star player that's getting hot. You got to find her the basketball. That's a Von Anderson's game, but yeah, that is. It's and hard to reel her in. Yeah, she's struggling a little bit, but I mean, now the foul call. 
ball. Um, Chacho, yeah. I mean, Yvonne Anderson is 3 of 15 today. So, 20%. Yes, tough and night. you've got Vasic now goes 13 points. That was a huge three from Cathorla. And, you know, from a defensive standpoint, I guess you think, and, and also pushing the pace, You've got Anderson out there, but there also probably has to be the temptation at some point uh, to reinsert Davidich. Here is bounce pass and Hill! Yeah, Hill is playing some really good minutes. She's rebounding for her team, giving them extra possessions and then a nice little drop-off pass. There you go, that's fast. She has the strong move, and that's it. That's what I'm Call saying. Coach. Call me coach. Yeah. She's a walking bucket. Nobody rushes her. She gets to where she wants to go. Cathorla, getting her way around. Door goes left into the corner. Palau for three. Oh, she missed everything. Offensively, now Jovanovic puts it up. And hustling now with Casas. Talking about the high energy, the hustle. My heart rate is must be crazy right now. I feel like I'm playing in this game, Jeff. Here's Palau. She gets it to Hill. Shot clock about to expire. Hill drives in. That was execution to perfection. Malkovich wanted the timeout. She hadn't asked for it. Now Yvonne Anderson, this time, the gates open and she gets a wide open layup. Oh, unbelievable. Anderson keeps going to what she's strong at and Hill for me is big. Coming up big for Spain. You think Malkovich is glad she didn't get that timeout now? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Harassing Cathorla, but then lets her get open. And there's the line. She stops and pops. Wow, what depth the Spain team has. Cathorla, all those important yearly women minutes. And they're coming to the floor here. Yeah, it's such an intelligent play. The defense went under the screen. She's got a wide open jump shot and she kills it. Right what the team needed as they get up on their feet and say, Vaminos! Well, just like Amaya Valdemaro used to do it. Torres, let's listen to Coach Malkovich. Important baskets that have been made. Before La, before that, Conde, three pointers. Sylvia Dominguez. They, it took them a while to heat up Spain from three point range. Uh, but eventually those threes started to fall. Look at that. They've hit six now, six to 22. I think that's probably not quite what you would want, but maybe uh, certainly is better than where it was. Yeah, and those three-pointers have come in, like, big, crucial moments. Uh, gives them energy. Good okay. defense by Uvina. Wow. And a foul called as Uvina tried to play defense. Great pressure by Yvonne Anderson. Look at this. Good defense there, and she gets hit in the face, but I think she just slaps down, and uh, when you make a big motion like that, it's easy for the referee to call a foul. All right, so it was the, it was the motion of... Yeah. yeah, when you come down, she slap... her hands up, she would have been yeah, fine. she would have been fine. It was Anderson. And also, I'm keeping my hands up, because Anderson has been struggling going to the uh, free... Yeah. Um, sorry, driving to the lane, so don't foul her. 
But she's been missing. But she doesn't miss her free throws. Big free throws for Anderson here. What you have to admire about Anderson is got a toughest shooting night, but she's not gonna put her off. She's gonna keep going. No. Nope. She's gonna score her entire life. Here's Lavinia. Asas. Tough shot. Zivanovic. Serbia can pull to within two or even one if they hit a three. Serbia needs to hurry here. They don't need to take their time. Let's they don't go. Need to dilly dally. Yeah. Zivanovic open. That's all. Ball batted out to Anderson. She puts it up. Good. That's why you stick with her. She's just answered it. She's answered the call. It's a one-point game. Lucas Mondello wants a timeout. Cathorla. Bounce pass. Hill. She passes it back outside to Casas. She shares to Hill. And that was an air ball. Serbia, just like that, have a chance to take the lead. How quickly this game has changed. And it's all because of Yvonne Anderson, the brilliance, the two free throws, the three-pointer. Get what they want. That's a little to bit work. of a mismatch. Vasic turns, bounce pass. Krasnik, shot clock about to expire. Are they going to count it? No, they are not, but they can review it. But I'm pretty sure they know that it... I'm pretty sure that was too late, but they no, can. I, I think she got it off on time. I say review. Yeah, review. Good job, uh, referees. Review. I think she got it off on time, you know, Jeff. I don't know. You're My gonna money says no, she did not. I'm saying yes. For an ice cream. We're listening and to the, the Spanish referees. Bench can see. Watch this. Let's be quiet and listen in. Time or not. Okay. And back, and then frame by frame, please. Okay. No. All right. Good. Yeah. No basket. Rolling on the floor is confirmed. No basket. No basket. Well, I'm not going to gloat, but I will tell you this. <laughs> it was a lot closer than I thought. Oh, it's just still in her palm Watch. there. When you slow it down, obviously you can tell, but in the rhythm, I thought it was uh, looked good. But oh. the referees use the technology that is given to them, and they were quick, fast, and uh, gave us the answer. They made Spain lead by one. They've got possession. Now we've got a Spain timeout. And the coaches have to figure out what they want to do. seconds in this type of game still a long an, time is an eternity mm -hmm. well I'll have a beard by the end of this <laughs> brings it up and starting to be just now Ruvinia looks for a way in she goes in and she is denied Yvonne Anderson again, another chance for Serbia. Oh, the pressure. The winner to play Belgium in the semifinals. Katola, the tough assignment on passage. 
Oh, Vasich with the turn, and this time, in plenty of time, she scores. Jeff, I held my breath that whole possession. I can't breathe. Fantastic finish. Look at this spin move down. Vasage takes her time. Give me that. Wow. This is what we were looking for. The tightest of games in Serbia showing that incredible resolve. Let's listen to coach. Well, I couldn't see what Coach Mondello draw it up, but he said a battle, which is down, I guess, and some sort of screen. Um, no shot clock on either, so it's 18.4 seconds. Spain have the whole time. They've got to get it over also the full court, so it'll be interesting to see if uh, Serbia do a, a little full court press here, maybe. Slow the ball down. Wow. <sighs> this is what it comes down to. These two great rivals. The last 18.4 seconds of this quarterfinal. Rubinio fights, gets it over to Cathorla. Who's going to get the last shot? Will it be indoor? Excuse me, will it be door? Get it to Dominguez. Shot clock winding down. They've got to hurry. They've got him hemmed in. They're in a bad place. And Jovanovic reaches and fouls Cazorla. Yeah, that's OK. They've got a foul to give. And they've got a couple more fouls to give. And Spain have taken a lot of time. And it's almost as if right now Spain are going to have to put up Whatever shot they can get. Back screen for Dor, no doubt. Uvinia. And a foul called. It's on the, the floor. Contact. No. On the floor. Referees have got to talk about this one. the shooting motion. Is that what they're going to rule? Wow. Well, you know what? It was desperation time, so she was definitely looking to get the shot. We have to see it again. I say why not review it? Yeah, I say go review it. Go review it. I'm not why? sure they can review this. Ah. Whether it was a shooting foul. They can only review. Yeah. Okay, no, they, no, they can. They can review it. the foul. We need to see when he calls the foul. Continue. Gotta go forward. Continue. Continue. Okay. Thank you. Thank Got you. it. Yeah, 1.5. 1.5 on the game clock, please. 1.5 on the game clock. Yep. So they're just reviewing the time and not the shot whether it was the free throws, but I think it was actually. When he when he blew the whistle, yeah, that's when she was in the motion. Well, so Uvinia now with a chance to, to win it at the line. She's got to make both. I can't watch either, Jeff. Yeah, big, solid at the line. Wow, ice in her veins. Can she hit the second to put them in front? Here we go. Spanish bench, they can hardly watch. It's like a water show, look at that. Ruvina, she's tying it. And she misses. Well, she had the opportunity, and if I'm being quite honest, I would hate 
hate to see Serbia go out on that call. But oh. I'm glad we've got overtime. Even though we're going to get five less minutes of sleep tonight. Oh. What a game. What a finish. 62-62. We're all knotted it at the end of the fourth quarter between Serbia and Spain. Oh, Jeff, I'm definitely going to get a few grey hairs. I'm going to look like you by the time I leave this game, that's for sure, because, wow, this was a prayer. She hits the first, ties the game, and misses the second. Wow. Woo! I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat it. Yeah. You know, a game like that, in my opinion, doesn't, just, doesn't deserve the end on a call like that. And I'm not saying it was a bad call. I would just hate to see Serbia go out. Play like that. But anyway, it just means we get five more minutes. Six and 22 deep for Spain. But look at that. They have had a lot of misses at the free throw line. And that could be what ultimately costs them. Just to let you know, Jeff, my heart rate is at 1 1 1 are beats you, per you, minute. Are you running around? Honestly? Wow. I'm having a mini heart attack over here. I just checked my uh, heart rate watch. It's usually at. Well, this is pulsating stuff here. It is time to uh, check your heart rate. It's been a, a great game that we anticipated. It has lived up to expectations. It's just the free throw shooting hasn't been that good. Right. And that those are. Uh, are so important in games like this. These teams have, they have played a lot of basketball, so you can see that, I think especially from Serbia's standpoint, there's players that look a little tired tonight. Um, yeah, but they play a high intensity game, they Jeff. Do. You know, they, they trap full court. Uh, they have to run around after these Spanish players. Um, a lot is asked for them, and they are definitely stepping up to the challenge. Well, well the more. overtime is underway. Serbia start with possession, attacking the basket to the left and the white, and Anderson gets in. She had the layup, she missed it. The Fasic was in there to corral the rebound. And guarding her is Kunde. Anderson puts it up at the line. Well, definitely they want to get the ball into Alvina. She has been nothing but buckets as... Uh, oh, boy, offensive foul called on Dort. Oh, that's Trying a shame. It's a shame because Ovina there was going. Her eyes lit up there. Ipalau watching nervously. Carrera falls down, she gets up. Now Brooks. Oh, great hustle from Carrera. But the ruling is uh, that she got some wrist. And now, and now they have two shots. Yeah, yeah. Good call. Um, and now they are in the bonus, Jeff. So Brooks takes her time. And I'll tell you what, it's been a long time since she scored. Well, I feel like she hasn't been on the floor for that long, has she? I feel like she was on the bench for uh, quite some time. Uh, but she's gone with back with her starters, the coach from Serbia, as uh, Brooks drains both of them. And guess who's subbing in here? Hill for me, solid minutes, has been rebounding, has been getting her nice little runners to the rim. Good sub. Yeah, Brooks has played 33 minutes. Oh, is she? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Right, who does Bay turn to turn to now? Conde, toward the thrill, gets it over to Avinia. Back to Conde, open, had the hand in the face. Vatovic rebounds the miss. Anderson with the ball. Vanovic. She was able to save it in bounds. Anderson, shot clock down to three. She goes up and misses with the reverse layup. Yeah, she's not going to get a call there. She just needs to lock in and, and just finish with her layup strong. Good defense by Spain, anyway. Oh. Pass. Not able to control it, though, was the catch was Conde. Unbelievable. Do you know what? Hats off to Anderson. She keeps being solid. She's missed back-to-back -back layups and then just sticks with it. Here we go, Spain. Who do they go to? Uvina. Oh, look at the tenacious defense by Anderson, knocking it into the backcourt. Now Uvina, yeah. Bounce pass to Hill. Tries to stay with it, not able to make the shot. Spain in real trouble now. 2.20 remaining. Now to Jovanovic. Vasic open for three. Oh boy. Spain living dangerously there. The ball kind of went in and out. came out. Kathorla from behind the arc. That was short. Now less than two minutes to go. Yeah. Uh, you remember, Uvinia had a chance to win it basically at the line. She did. Serbia going with a more slow and uh, methodical offense, taking their time, getting a good look at the rim. The ball falls down. Oh, great reach in by Ovinia. She takes it away. And she goes up, and a blocking foul has been called on Jovanovic. Now, that was essentially a one on three decision by Ovinia, but it paid off in the end. Look at this. Great push by Spain there. They put the pressure on Serbia and the, the fans. That's how I feel, Jeff. The fans can hardly watch. Yeah, this is a fantastic game. Spain is playing solid, and so is Serbia. Uvina here at the line. She gets another chance for two free throws. Bill looks exhausted. She's gone out. Uvina makes the first. The four Quevedo's in the game. Carrera. So you've got a lot of youngsters on the court right now for Spain. A lot of players, a lot of players that are perhaps not as celebrated. Now this is interesting. Avinia comes out for Dominguez, and Dominguez, the veteran, the 34-year-old, clearly used to these situations as well. I'm sure that uh, there are going to be more substitutions. Here's Anderson now. Serbia up by two. Remember. Vasic just missed a three-pointer. It would have made it a seven-point lead. Now it's just a two-point game. And a hold has been called on Quevedo. I'd like to see that. A push, rather. Yeah, I wasn't watching. I was watching uh, Dominguez defending at the top here. But I don't know if we'll get the replay. But either way, that puts Vasic at the line for two. And uh, Mandela wants a timeout as soon as possible. Passage. 18 points for her. Both teams now as uh, stress on the bench. Both teams in the bonus. Passage. Both these teams, Serbia and Spain, will play in the Olympics later this summer. And in fact, just over a month. And uh, timeout has been called by Lucas Mondello with Serbia back in front by four. This is exciting stuff, Jeff. This is a display of just 
wonderful women's basketball, in my opinion, as uh, Vassage hits nothing but net at her free throws. The crowd is in it, it's exciting. What more do you want for, this is a quarter final. This isn't a semis or a, or a final, but we'll listen in to Mondello's timeout. Just as a reminder, we're kind of in this situation. This is a, a matchup that you would have expected later in the tournament, but Serbia were able to win their group here in Valencia, but Spain were not because they lost on opening night to Belarus, who one of the, you know, one of the surprise teams. They lost at the buzzer. Spain rebounded uh, with a couple wins, but they had to go through the qualification for the quarterfinals, and here they are. This uh, two great basketball playing countries. There's no doubt about it. They are two of the best in international hoops. Uh, the basketball inbound into Quevedo. And she gets back to the veteran, Dominguez. Quevedo puts it on the deck, drives in, misses the shot. Serbia have it. Solid defense there by Serbia. Spain need to have a good, solid defensive right back. Seven on the clock, Jeff. Oh boy, she goes behind her back, then she hands it off to Vasic. Good defense by Adur. And Carrera reaches in and steals it. Now she pushes it quickly. And Carrera, oh, she had nowhere to go. Kolajnik got the block. Solid defense here, look. Moves her feet, keeps her hands out. She does get all ball. Good call for the referees here. You can't fault Carrera for going for it. Yeah. Uh, the referees are just having a little chat. Not sure what about, but... Passes, finding uh, your fingernails. They want to have a look at something, Jeff. Maybe what was on the clock, or I don't know. We're going to be quiet and listen in to I have... Andy Bonner and Wojcik Liska. Yeah, we have no idea. Oh, they're looking touches at. out of bounds and frees it. Mm. Let's see. Is there a baseline angle? Maybe this angle? Uh, we should see when he's calling. We should have an angle to see when he's calling. Well, it's when the ball would touch, you know? Out of bounds, exactly when the ball would touch. Okay, one more frame, please. One more. Okay, and back one. All right, 37-3. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. 37-3 on the game clock. Good call. Okay, it's so important that the referees, um, they're all over it. They just want to make sure they have the exact amount of time because at this part in the game, it is so important that you have the correct time. So well done, referees, going to look at the clock, making sure. Well, look at Conde looking very nervous. Mondello as well. Okay, let's get something good here, Spain. And the ball inbounded the door. Kavinga. And offensive foul! Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. That's not what Spain wanted. I would love to just see this replay. It was on Carrera, sorry. Yeah. So a moving screen, Jeff, is what the referee signaled, but I, I couldn't see it. Those players in my way. Here we go, here we go. Oh, they got tangled up there. That's where all the calls have been made tonight. Have right corner. Carrera, after a brilliant game, goes out and Conde replaces her. 
no, Casas also in the game. And now they're going to guard uh, Petrovic, trying to keep her from getting across midcourt, but she does. They don't want to foul because it puts them back at the line. Solid defense here Spain needs. Come on. Four-point difference. Cavedo reaching. Passage over to Jovanovic for three. That'll kill it! It had to be her, didn't it? Jovanovic is just struck with a dagger from the left corner. And Conde drives in, and it is going to be heartbreak for Spain here in La Fonteta. Serbia have given payback tonight. Two years old from losing to Spain in the semifinals in Belgrade. They have traveled to Spain here in Valencia and shocked the two-time defending champions. Unbelievable, Jeff. What a fantastic game. 71-64, Serbia win it over Spain. They advance to the semifinals. And uh, emotions there from Gil. She knows uh, this was a tough, tough game. Wow, you know what I'm, this is, I knew this was gonna go down to the line. Spain put on a fantastic, great performance. But Serbia, Serbia was just tough, gritty, just played, you know, hard, hard uh, as their fourth semi-final appearance, Serbia women. Um, but wow, for me, the lady of the game was uh, number eight for Serbia, Jovanovic, who just hit that dagger there. Unbelievable, yeah, but... And, and really, you know, you, you hate to break it down, but there's one stack in all of this that stands out to me. Free throws, maybe? Free throws. Yeah. Spain shot 58% at the free throw line tonight. They left a lot of points out there. Yeah, and there's the free throw stack, 10 from 17. That's seven points they left, and that's the game. And Serbia only shot four from 17 from the three. The rebounding game, they lost 20, uh, 42 to 46. And steals 13 for Serbia. They are ecstatic in the middle. Vasic, big boy. Woo, she was unbelievable. Anderson kept going to the rim. And, you know, she never gave up, in my opinion. Uh, Serbia jumped up and down and quiet this crowd for sure. But Spain played great, and they can't believe it. Uh, that well, they the, lost, the but... The game was in their heads. It yeah, was. It was... Um, uh, you know, Uvina. A, late, a late foul, Uvina had a chance to ice it. This is going to be something that she's going to have to live with, and it's really unfair, but that's often how it goes. You know, one of the best players in the tournament has a chance and doesn't come through, and it's harsh to look at it in that way, but that is the reality. She could have put them up, by a point with about one and a half seconds left. Serbia would have been able to, I think, uh, advance the ball, all time out. But anyway, you know, the, the, the experience of, of Serbia, particularly Vasic, and, yeah. and also the, the resilient play of Yvonne Anderson, who wasn't, yeah, didn't did she have, have a, a tough game? Yeah. Yes, she did, but she still scored 17. She kept it moving. Uh, and Jovanovic, I mean, you know, so the experience, particularly in this Serbian national team, of Sonja Vasic, of Nevena Jovanovic, especially, uh, I mean, you cannot make up this stat line for Jovanovic. 15 points, 10 rebounds, 3 of 6 from 3-point range. Yep. And you know what? Here we see the highlights of Vasic. And for me, Serbia knew that was the girl they wanted to go to. And man, they found her. She demanded the ball. We see Anderson here with her layup. She demanded the ball and she scored every single time. Wow, this was a game which I was excited for. I knew Spain um, was going to bring it. They have been playing very, very well from that drop game. They have definitely found themselves. Uh, and I knew this game it could have been a final. In my opinion, this was a final. It's so disappointing that, you know, one of these teams had to lose and now doesn't have a chance at the podium, um, which is uh, the, the, the defending champion of Spain. So we won't see them. But Serbia, congratulations to them. This was a fantastic game. I am so, so happy to be a part of this because this was history. Yeah. It's the first time Spain will not reach the podium at a FIBA Women's Eurobasket since 2011 uh, when they came up short of the quarterfinals. 
Uh, obviously missed the Olympics the following year. Uh, it goes without saying, they still have a very important game that they're going to have to play uh, to try to get to the uh, qualifying tournaments for the FIBA Women's uh, Bas Basketball World Cup. Yeah, top so, six. And they have Russia, right? In the next. Russia, yeah. yeah. So. Who are also very similar to the Serbian team, in my opinion. Very tough, good post players. So. I, I mean, I expect Spain to win that one if they can get over the disappointment, but. I don't know, anything, anything can happen, but a fantastic game all uh, uh, across the board. So exciting. My heart rate was like I was working out. Well, it's just uh, you'd like to see both of these teams play for medals, play for spots on the podium. It's, it's just not going to happen. So it's going to be Serbia and Belgium in one semifinal, Belarus and France in the other. What a game, what a night, what a tournament. Serbia have spoiled the party here in Valencia, that's for sure, winning perhaps uh, the most famous, the most famous victory uh, in this nas women's national team history. It certainly ranks up there near the top. Thanks for watching, everybody. Buenas noches.